Here we go, pilot episode. Let's really show them what they're missing. What's up, guys? My name is Jack Septiguy, and this is Crank Gameplays, and welcome to the Brain League Podcast! Ah! <laughs> I tried to do my best Mr. Beast intro. It's like the very first episode. I want to get people, like, like uh, right there. I want to grab them. See, is that is that what we have to do now? Just yes. scream? Yes. I mean, I guess that's... What we started what, doing. I mean, why are people here otherwise? So true. So, Ethan, what are your thoughts on mm -hmm. gun control? Damn, man. I'm so <laughs> excited that you asked. <laughs> First episode of the podcast. Get into the thick of it. Baby. Yeah, I wrote down gun control, politics, abortion. And then I was like, whatever he Good. wants to talk about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just leave it up to me. I'll decide. Uh, welcome, everyone at home. I guess this is a surprise to many of you that we're doing a podcast, but I thought it was about time that two mm -hmm. white men finally sat down. <laughs> yeah, you know, our opinions are of the utmost importance, and we know that you've been waiting for them. Yeah. Um, so why not give you what nobody else has? And no one asked for either. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Everyone at home was like, podcast? Okay, I guess so. Mm -hmm. I promise we'll make it worth your while. We're, we may be doing a podcast, but neither of us have a sure SM7B. That's right. The first podcast ever to not be recorded with Shure SM7Bs. Yeah, so. and I probably have mine <laughs> not recording well, so I should be using a different one. It's going to be great, guys. You've never heard something quite like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have not. So we came up with the name Brain Leak after mm -hmm. many, many other names because we thought, what's like a word vomity kind of thought vomit name? And it's like our brains are completely dead. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we have no brain cells because my brain has evaporated out through my head. Well, before we do the name, should we go back further to even like what the, the catalyst for the podcast was? Money. That's Stone exactly cold right. Money. <laughs> we can't wait for our Amazon deal to kick in, guys. <laughs> um, no, because I remember it was a few months ago now. You randomly texted me and you were like, hey, are you free to jump on a call real quick? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, sure. And then you were just like, you want to do a podcast? And I was like, yeah. It, literally, that is all that happened. Well, I, I wanted to do one for a while and I didn't know what to do. And then for a long time, I was like, should I do one on my own? I was like, I don't think that that's that fun to do because I don't enjoy doing things on my own all the time. <laughs> I don't think that'll be good to do because I don't enjoy myself. Because <laughs> I hate myself. Um, and I thought, who better than you? Because you are the exact same as me where neither of us can talk. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be so good. Yeah. This podcast is going to be in unintelligible from start to end <laughs> every episode. And it's going to be so many British accents and stupid mm -hmm. noises and me impersonating you and then you laughing at yourself through me impersonating mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. Buckle up, everybody. It's going to be great. Um, no, I think I think it's going to be fun, though, because, like, you and I, whenever we get together, we always have, like, much deeper conversations than we would in recordings, and I feel mm -hmm. like this is going to be a good way to for us to sort of get those out. And I think a lot of people also will sort of appreciate us being a bit more real and not being in necessarily like recording mode. It's going to be chill. It's going to be chill. And we uh, we have a lot of fun plans and we want to have guests on and also do the same thing there where yeah. when we have guests on, we want to have like actual fun conversations rather than the same questions that everybody gets asked every Yeah, like gun control, abortion. Exactly. Politics. Where people mm -hmm. stand. Uh, and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go any people... deeper before people think I'm not joking. <laughs> this and... is the first episode, Sean. <laughs> I don't know anything about politics, so I don't even know how to joke about it. It's like me joking about weed. I'm like, mm -hmm. I have no idea. Have you ever injected weed before? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever injected weed in your system? You know, through yeah, a, you dude. like boil the weed pipe. <laughs> When you boil <laughs> the weed pipe. No, Damn, dude. I do a lot of drugs. But we had, we came up with a bunch of other names because Ethan came over to Brighton in December and we were here for New Year's. Irrelevant of the podcast, we were like, this is a good chance to come up with some names. And 
It was me, <laughs> you, just... and Evelyn sitting at dinner, and for an hour, you and I just... I, we made the paint leave the building, basically. <laughs> I, I feel like Evelyn was like a referee at a tennis match, just looking back and forth, <laughs> back and forth, as we just said the dumbest shit ever. Yeah, and after like five minutes, she realized it was going nowhere, and then pulled out her phone and was like, I want to do something else. You guys just do what you want. <laughs> it literally was, like, that's not an exaggeration at all. It was just you and I for over an hour just saying words back and forth. And eventually it got to the point where we were just like, lamp, head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, windowsill was one, which is a really cool name. Windowsill is like a really good, like, ska band name, I think. Yeah, but good for a podcast. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what what were some of the other ones? <laughs> the, we came up with a couple. They went in different directions. One of them yes. was the Wet Pussy Project, <laughs> which I think was the best the best one. <laughs> but it feels uh, like we're skewing our demographic a little bit. There was that. There was uh, I think it was like what the podcast <laughs> yeah, or like what the podcast all, all about podcasts or something like that or like everything full of podcasts or some stupid mm -hmm. shit like that. Oh, we should have called it like Live Laugh <sighs> Podcast. <laughs> oh, god damn. Yeah, if you guys have any good podcast recommendations, it's not too late to change the brand. It's the first episode. Yeah. I mm -hmm. I was still like Brain Leak. Oh, we should have called it Brain Dead. And I was like, <laughs> there's probably a Brain Dead podcast out there already. <laughs> we should have called it I Want to Be Dead <laughs> Podcast. Yeah, shit. then we start we then we put it into like an AI and we were like, mm -hmm. what are good podcast names? And it kept coming out with stupid shit, like two dumb bitches. <laughs> my, I think my favorite one was, <laughs> was the Jim Brogan experiment. <laughs> <laughs> it's satire. It's parody. Oh, that's so good. We just need it's to like, so funny. we need to do episodes where we just sit down and talk about like mm. MDMA and monkeys. Yeah, talking about how eating elk has changed our lives. And, <laughs> oh, so Break good. the Liver King drama. Have Derek from More Plates, More Dates come on. Mm -hmm. You know him, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he, does, he does videos talking about like steroid use, and he's very open about that he uses steroids. And that was like, he was the guy that showed me that like everybody's on steroids all the fucking time. <clears throat> so obviously not in competitions. Um, are steroids legal? I don't actually know. That's a good question. Derek? <laughs> oh yeah, we need a we need a person <laughs> to just be like, hey, give us the answer. Yeah, this well, oh fuck. Uh, guys, if you screen. guys keep watching the podcast and we get sponsorships, mm -hmm. then we can afford a producer. <laughs> let's let's talk a little bit about about the plans for the podcast. Cause I think that like Beyond us, uh, two privileged white men <laughs> talking about shout our out. experience in the world. <laughs> shout out, Bo Yo, shout, out <laughs> shout out, baby. We wanted to also use this as a way to just make more stuff together other than just sitting here and talking. And so we do have a lot of plans, not necessarily like set in stone yet, but about like releasing yeah. a channel and being able to make just like fun videos where we go out and do different shit together. Um, and it will be called Tunis Honest. Ah, I was going to the joke. The joke. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Oh, you See, I told on. you I was going to make that joke. <laughs> and you yeah. stole it. But you know, yeah. I made it. It's your, it's your brand. You should be allowed it's to make it. my brand, baby. But yeah, we want to do... Because I, I don't know. I, I just want to get out and do more stuff in general anyway. Mm -hmm. And I guess I like you, so yeah. it might be fun to go out and do like Ethan and Sean do archery together or mm -hmm. some stupid shit like that. And that's the kind of stuff that I love doing, like just going out and trying new stuff and just being weird in public. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. But I, I miss bouncing off of somebody else a lot. And yeah. so other than just doing this, I think it's going to be really fun to just go and make um, go and make those videos when we can. There's not going to be like a set schedule necessarily. And also yeah. this is the first episode of the podcast, so we don't really know what we're doing at all yet anyway. Yeah, but. I still don't know what I'm doing after 10 years of doing YouTube, so this isn't going to be mm -hmm. any different. But I, I think it'll be cool though. I think it'll be cool not only making fun videos together, but also learning more about each other. Like we talked about like me 
flying over there and us going to Ireland and you showing me what turf is. stone. We go kiss it and get COVID. I think it would be fun to like go do the stereotypical things that like maybe you or I both haven't done. Like, have you ever yeah. been to the Blarney Stone? I have when I was a kid, I think. But it would be cool to do like a road trip through Ireland. And then maybe go over to America and do like, you can show me around Maine and then we can see mm-hmm. that. And then we can go eat lobster. And It would be so fun to go on a lobster boat. Yeah. Go catch pots. That'd be oh, sweet. Oh, can we go like fucking like whale harpooning? <laughs> <laughs> can we go like shark you fin hunting? <laughs> can I like... <laughs> you think we hunt whales? <laughs> No, but we can. <laughs> That's so true. We're YouTubers. We can do whatever we want. Oh, Ethan and Sean overfish. <laughs> <laughs> Sean and Ethan devastate the northeastern ecosystem. <laughs> Starting a wildfire. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. California needs yep. to end up in the ocean. Let's burn it all down. Let's do it. We have the power. <laughs> We have the power. We'll just be like, every one of our subscribers come along the California border, hold hands, mm-hmm. and bring a lighter. It's going to be fun, though. I'm I'm very excited for the stuff that we that we can possibly make. I think that you and I both have the, the same sort of mindset of, like, we want to use the podcast as sort of like a launching point to yeah. be able to do other cooler stuff together. Yeah. Um, so this is a call out as well. Sponsors, guests... Anybody mm-hmm. who wants to be on, well, not anybody, but we need like a, we need to have some sort of standard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I think it'll be really fun having guests on. And like I was saying before, like asking them questions that aren't just standard, like interview questions. Yeah. So we also had an idea for all this first episode. It's just setting up what all this is, but that's what this is for. We want to do like a recurring segment every episode as well. And we want to do like an advice column. Obviously, we can't do it for the first episode because we don't have mm-hmm. an audience yet. But we want to do something where we like, you guys can put in your advice somewhere. We'll make an email or something like that where you can submit. And then we'll give you terrible advice on it. I want to give funny advice like, I finished my exams, I'm going off to college. And then I can be like, Haha, don't. <laughs> 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 just that pa- is, pack it in they now didn't even ask, they didn't even ask a question I finished my exams I'm going off to college you just give unsolicited advice <laughs> ah, don't don't do it idiot fucking morons I went to college twice did you yeah did you do it twice oh yeah for music production and that hotel <laughs> yeah music shit. shit I do for music shit shout out shout out quarter notes <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'd like to submit your questions to us, you can do it at the following email that will be inserted later in post. That's smart, because I was just going to say we'll wow. figure it out after. <laughs> How about that email, huh? Oh, yeah, we're also recording video of this. Will it go up anywhere? We have no idea. It will. It, no, it's, this is the year of confidence. We're not going to be like, will That's they, so won't they? Like, we are... Spotify has video now. Uh-huh. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know that until recently. Oh, huh. crazy! Yeah, I don't see anyone use it though. I just see like a loop of a music video in the background all the time. It means oh, we have to like look good when we show up. Like I can't just show up disheveled. No, you can. You just have to own it. You know. Mm. You just have to own it for the day. I do have long hair now. I am quite disheveled all the time. You do. It looks good though. I like the long hair. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's great. You had long hair for a while. Did you have the same problem where it gets greasy in two minutes? Yep. It gets greasy and weird, and then you don't really know what to do with it. And then you're you're out of hat stage, though, with the length. Yeah, thank God. Mm -hmm. Was that a point where I was like, is it going to fall left? Is it going to fall right? Do I even have a mid part? Like, my life got very difficult for a long time. (laughs) How many minutes into this recording (laughs) are we already talking about? Man, hair is... Wild. Do you have hair growing in places that you've never had hair before? I do. On my head. Damn. That's insane. I'll I'll give you a a podcast exclusive about my hair. So many people are always like, is Jack going gray? And obviously I've talked about that a lot. Yes. Since I was 16, I've been going very, very gray. If you go back to my earlier content. Since you were 16? Yeah. 
How old were you when you started? 22, but it was like November 2012. So it was like a month and a half left. So it's, I really started in like 2013. I did like two videos mm -hmm. in 2012, so I never really counted. But I was like 23 when I fully got into it. But everyone keeps asking, like, go back and watch my old videos. Super gray hair. And then everyone's like, is he gray? And then suddenly it's not gray. It's like, yeah, I dye it. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh my God, does he dye his hair? It's like, yeah, green was fine but trying to not look like I'm 50 and everyone's like, mm. weird. Do you dye your beard? No. I have like a couple of grays in there. It's just usually it's shorter so you never see them. Maybe this year because of the podcast, um, I'll be able to grow a beard. <gasps> you, you should know? start now and not oh. cut it. So every episode we can do a super cut of Ethan's beard growth as a separate video. Oh man, that can be a segment of the podcast. <laughs> it's just like, and now for beard time with Ethan. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of coming in a little more. And then it's Back gone. to you. <laughs> just ask every guest that comes on. It's like, what do you think of his beard? It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's kind of patchy and Yeah, gross he's in and... that beard hat phase. So here's here's a question for you what do you think that you're most excited about with the the birth of the podcast hmm? i don't know i feel like when we make youtube videos these days you have to be like on the ball when it comes to like well you can't say certain things like so many of my old videos now we're all getting hammered because that new swearing policy came in the like 8 to oh, 15 yeah. seconds thing where everyone for a while was like is that a thing and now it's definitively a thing and now it's actually a thing so we all have to worry about that and you have to worry about like like algorithms and everything and i feel like this is way more just like free flow i feel like i can say and do things that i don't really have to worry about as much but but also we get to do like extra shit because I don't we don't want to like we said we don't want to just record the episodes and be like hey go here and listen to it or watch it like do extracurricular stuff as an excuse to hang out with each other we want to do like a, a haunted house and like mm -hmm. go to a castle that's been haunted and things like that and I think those types of things because I've the last year I've kind of been lonely and miserable and depressed and just kind of sitting at home being like man it's like I like what I do but doing the same version of it over and over again. I, I haven't really been challenging myself, and I think this challenges me in a good way. Yeah, I think it's nice, too, to have, like, somebody else that you, one, can rely on, but two, have to, like, show up for, you yeah. know? Um, it it helps a lot, and it helps keep you motivated and on track and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just an excuse to hang out with friends. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. It also gives us both an excuse to see each other more. You'll yeah. probably come to LA more. I hopefully will come out there more. Well, um, not even just that, but even in texts, because I feel like we're both the same with ADHD, where it's like, well, you're not around, so I hate texting, so I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like, out of sight, out of mind. You don't exist to me unless I'm in town. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so bad sometimes, and I have to explain it to friends, where it's just like, sometimes I have object permanence issues with people. Okay. <laughs> where if I don't see them... <laughs> Oh, here we go. First impression of Ethan. I don't even remember what my mom's face looks like. She come around and I'd be like, uh, Mom, <laughs> that's what you look like. I oh, didn't shit. even know. <laughs> I didn't even know you. I'm going to put you on the spot right now and get you to say how many unread messages you have. How many like undone notifications on your phone you have? Because I, I have one, which is my uh -huh. settings, which is an update. Okay. And that's yep. it. Everything else, oh, except my shop app, which has like seven, but that's but that's it. Eight total on my home screen. You have eight total. Uh, oh god, I, your, your emails are going to ruin me. I focus. I have forty six hundred emails. Oh, somewhere in there. What I have, the fuck? What are? Uh, wait, are these like important emails, or is this is this stuff like people sign you up for, like like I Walgreens? It's probably a bit of both. So there's. 4,600 emails, and then focus, there you go. and then there's 172 uh, <laughs> voicemails, and there's, what is that, 192 <laughs> texts. <laughs> are, like, are those texts like authenticator codes and like two-step? Uh, some of them are, let's see, let's see, I'll go down the list. So my first one is an unread text in a group chat with my brother and my mom. That's and understandable. There, there is one spam thing. 
I have one from my boxing coach. I have one from my dad. You really don't like interacting with your family, yeah. do you? <laughs> yeah, and then it's just like random friends that have texted me, and I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll respond to that, and then I forget. Yeah. It's, okay. it's great! You'll turn 30 at some point and be like, I don't care about any of the people. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But hold on. Let's not go there yet because I have a thing to say. Bouncing okay. off of what you just said. Go. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't remember who I was talking to about this. Uh, but they were like, why do you think that way? That's weird and I don't agree at all. I'm so excited to be 30. Oh, because yeah. Because everyone says that 30 is great and I can't wait. And I was saying that to somebody the other day and they were like, why? That's so weird. I don't feel the same way at all. And it seems like your 20s are all about, um, you know, fucking around and finding out and... Fucking bitches and getting money. Exactly. And 30s are like, you know yourself a little bit better and you're more of a real person. Um, <laughs> your brain and... finally turns on. <laughs> so I'm, I'm 26 now. How much of a difference in who you are as a person do you feel like... Let's go five years from 25 to 30. You're 31 now? 32? I'm 33 in two days. Oh, shit! Which dates this episode, I guess. It does. I thought you were going to go, how much time do I have left? <laughs> how much time do I have left? <laughs> when will my penis stop working? <laughs> still, <laughs> still firing it up. Still Mount Vesuvius <laughs> over here, baby. Yeah, man. I think 26 was when everything started to like really change for me. That was when I was like, I can't eat whole packets of like Haribo's anymore. Mm -hmm. My back started hurting. I started like being able to crack parts of my body that I couldn't before. <laughs> when I was over there, Yumi and Tommy were hanging out and we yeah. were having that conversation where you and I were both like, yeah, neither of us can really eat a lot of sweets anymore because it just hurts. And he was like, what? <laughs> that happens? I get acid like, reflux yeah. all the time. <laughs> I look at a packet of sweets and I'm like, Whoa. and then he had no idea what Tenacious D was. Oh! <laughs> he can go fuck himself for that one. I We were talking about Thankmas and I said, yeah, Jack Black was on. He was like, yeah, he's cool. And I said, yeah, and he offered like Tenacious D tickets whenever I wanted. He was like, what's that? Like so earnestly. And I was like, his band. He's like, he's in a band? Yeah, he's he's oh. a singer. And he was like, what? And I'm like, he's a singer before he's an actor. Like, what did you think he did? Uh, and he had no idea. Now, he's not here to defend himself, and that's good, because no. he'd come up with some smart, witty reply that's actually really clever. Mm. But I just want to... I, I can't stand Tommy. <laughs> he's charming, and he's super nice, and, and he's friendly, and, he's, and British. he's tall, and he's British. He's got the cool accent, and he's genuinely, like, very nice to be around. Well, he's I can't stand him. Tommy's from up north, so he doesn't have a nice accent. He's from, like... Oh, yeah. He's he, from, like, he top kind of it talks like, like Jon Snow. Yeah, she's my queen. I don't want it. But how... So, your body started hurting. Yeah. Uh, Kidney at 26. started shutting down. Mm. <laughs> I, Heart started to slow. Well, it, it's weird because leading up to 30, I was really excited as well. And I was like, because my birthday, my 10 birthdays end up on the like 10s of the year. So I was born in 1990. So it was like, oh. it was like 2020 was when I turned 30. So it was like, okay, new decade, new decade for me. Everything was kind of like coalescing. And I was like, here we go. I was like so excited. I was going to change my life. And then like a month after my birthday, lockdown happened. So mm -hmm. I feel like I got like fucking, I feel like I got a vasectomy right out at the start of the year where I just yeah. got snipped. So like 30 to 33 now, I feel like has been weird because I, I went through some like, I feel great. I feel terrible. I feel great. I feel terrible. So I don't really know how that experience was. But from 26 to 30, I feel like I changed quite a bit. Yeah, I sort of on the opposite end of that because I was 23 or 22, 23. I can't remember. I guess I was 23 when lockdown started. And yeah. so a part of me feels like I was kind of like ripped of my early 20s in yeah. a sense, like early to mid 20s. I was like, man, I kind of wish that I 
had gone out and I'm supposed like, to be out doing blow and hookers. <laughs> I, I know. No, but I, I did kind of feel that like, oh, I kind of wish, even though I hate this setting, but like I kind of wish that I like went out to more clubs and did mm. that kind of like stereotypical like early 20s kind of garbage, which I can't stand that kind of stuff now. But I'm like, oh, man, I I do kind of feel like I was stripped of that a little bit. Yeah, because um, I was I think I was 21 the last time I got like really drunk, went to a club, like puked everywhere kind of like night out. Mm-hmm. Is that when you shit yourself and you split your toe open? Th- those are two... S- oh, wait, no. I, I've shot myself twice. Um, <laughs> I do things in pairs, you'll find out. <laughs> you know what? This is what the podcast is for. Unfiltered, unbridled. I don't know if you, what you guys would call them, but like a, a chippers is what we'd call them, where you go and get like fish and chips or like battered sausages and a burger, or like fast food mm-hmm. kind of places. But it's a very... Scran! Sp- Scran! A fish! Scran! <laughs> But we um we did that when I was 17 and I got wildly drunk because my friend had just turned 18. So we went to a pub that didn't care. If you were like 16 and above, they were like, yeah, we'll serve you drinks, but like mm. keep it, keep it like safe. Keep it on the DL. Yeah. And then I got really... And you didn't. <laughs> I did not. I could not have been more on the, <laughs> on the high instead of on the down... Anyway, on the on the up there, on the up and up, <laughs> I I got really drunk, and then we had like vodka afterwards, and that I can't drink vodka since because we got so hammered that I like I was like blinking through my life that night, mm-hmm. and I was I remember being in the chippers, and I had to take a shit, and I went in, I made it to the bathroom, went in, sat on the toilet, and didn't take my pants off. <laughs> So I just (laughs) filled my jeans as much as I could. I looked like fucking Poe from the Teletubbies with that big, like, heavy ass. And then, oh, this is really going to please still be my fans after this. But I remember pulling down my pants and scooping my shit out of my pants into the toilet. (laughs) Yep. That was me, baby. And then... After that, I went outside, sat down, and then puked all over myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then we got a taxi home. The taxi driver was not very happy with me because I stank the place out of it. And then I got home and hugged my mother at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in puke. I've never been that drunk before. It's fucking terrible. That's unreal. You were 17? Yeah. Have you? I feel like because I've heard that story before. I didn't know that you scooped shit out of your jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not publicly told that story before? I've I've told it in like various forms, but I was like, I don't know if I like save that for a tour or a live show. <laughs> I don't think people want to hear about that. Now it's the podcast, baby. Yeah, it's all podcast. Two exclusives talk. today. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah, but the I, other time, yeah, I don't think I've ever been that drunk. <sighs> yeah, well, I was like, I didn't know any better then. The second time, I did know better because I didn't shit my pants. I just shit on someone's doorstep mm-hmm. and then left it there. <laughs> that, that was when I was in college the first time, and I was like. 20, I think, or 19. And I I thought I'd be the cool guy. I'd broken up with my girlfriend at the time, and I was like, I'm sad. (laughs) (laughs) I stopped going to college for like four months. Still went in and passed my exams, so what up? Shout out, brain. So, how does... You can do that? You just not show up, and then you still pass? Yeah, because it... it, I think I probably should have got failed on my attendance. Maybe it wasn't four yeah. months. I think maybe my brain's exaggerating the memory for me. But I feel like it was definitely two months for sure, mm-hmm. where I just did not go because I was sad and I was like, time to drink. And mm-hmm. then I went to a house party with a bunch of friends and I downed like half a bottle of Sambuca to be like, mm-hmm. I like stood on a table and did it. And I was like, I'm going to be really cool. And then did that. And I, I literally, that's the last thing I remember. I can't remember anything after that. I, except like, I thought I was in my, it was like a, a door that you had like a fob to get into. And then there was like three apartments mm-hmm. at the top of the stairs and it was like student accommodation. So I went in and thought it was mine, but it wasn't. So I couldn't get back out. And I was like panicking. All 
I literally, all I had to do was like turn a handle and like pull yeah. it down at the same time. <laughs> but I was so drunk that I couldn't get out. And I was like, I got a shit. <laughs> You do the classic <laughs> thing, like trying to get back into your house after a long night of drinking, where you're like fumbling with your keys and your yeah. head is like banging against the front door. And you're just like, oh god! So I imagine can't that, open a door. Imagine that, but it's not your house. <laughs> so they were <laughs> they're probably in their apartment, going like, someone's trying to break in. We're, we're going to get murdered in our sleep. And I I couldn't get back out, so I was like, I really got a shit. So I shot on their doorstep and then went home. <laughs> and I the. <sighs> These are terrible stories. Now. I'm not proud of any of this, by the way. This is awful, awful stuff. But what I uh, I woke up the next morning and my big toe was like split down the middle, like the nail. And I, my whole foot was covered in blood. But I woke up with all my clothes on and my shoes and my socks. So I have no idea how that happened. Maybe I like kicked no, the door to try and get out. No shit in your pants. No. Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. That is insane. Yeah, that. that's the type of story where I'm like, it is funny, but it's also like so gross that I'm like, I don't know if I should tell people that. That was over uh -huh. 10 years ago. I'm evolved now. I have a bidet in my house. I won't shit oh. my ass ever again. Baby, if there's a bidet company that wants to sponsor the podcast, <laughs> the bidet, the invention of the bidet has changed. The bidet the will come so where we get sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable <clears throat> how much it changes your life. Yeah, turns out most of Asia had it right already. <laughs> and we were over here like cave people, like might as well have had leaves scraping our asshole. You guys have the cool toilets at your house too, where you it's like automatic and stuff. Yeah, you put your foot to the bottom of it and the thing goes like, oh, hey, welcome. <laughs> it's like a 4D experience. <laughs> <laughs> so beyond um you know evolving from shitting your pants. Yeah. What's been what's been new in the world of Sean recently? Let's do a little update on both of our ends. Um for me, I have coffee rebrand coming, which mm -hmm. we don't really know when this is launching yet, so it's either out or it's about to come out. So shout out mm -hmm. coffee. That neon sign will change to a new logo soon. Ooh, I was about to ask if if That'll be outdated and you'll have to get a new one. Yeah. So I'm Christ. I'm very excited about it. I think everything we did really elevates the brand and I think it's just a way better direction for everything. It's way more fun to do. The other neon sign is right there in its box. And I have to wait to unbox it for like the big oh. reveal. How how's the synergy with the brand? Synergy's you know? good, yeah. It's very frictionless now. <laughs> There's, it's Good. just like, it's seamless from like top to bottom and the, mm -hmm. the systems that we have in place from like, from like consumer to doorstep, like direct to consumer. Yeah. Totally frictionless. It's just, Good. it's, <laughs> Good. I couldn't Good. even think Good of any hear. more words than people <laughs> say. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear. <laughs> that is very exciting though. I, you showed me a couple of photos from like the, uh, the photo shoots that you were doing. Yeah. We got like most of those pictures back now. So they're like, it's the first time we've done like a photo shoot for that and really got high end with it. And like the colors are all nice and pop. And I really like the photographers we use. And we got some animations done for the website. I got to see that for the final or like the final version of that like two days ago. It's cool. I think it like some people would be like, huh, okay. When it happens. But I feel like the way the coffee was, was a bit too minimal for what it was, mm -hmm. and it didn't really match my personality, and I think the new one matches way better. I'm very, I, I'm saying this genuinely, uh, I'm really excited to see what happens with Top of the Morning, because <laughs> I think it's genuinely extremely good coffee. Like, I drink it every morning. Thank you. Um, and I feel like it's, like, one of the only, like, influencer brands mm. that I've seen that actually like is a good representation of you and like what you like and it actually like makes sense because there's a lot of influencer brands that I'm like why why are you doing that <laughs> that doesn't really make sense drop drop the names drop shout out oh man let's call all of them out huh just say Mr. Beast you know you want to yeah that's true but I've heard his chocolate's bad I haven't had it. I can't eat it. Oh, because it's got peanuts in it. Mm-hmm. Wait, really? Yep. I thought it only had like four ingredients. 
It says it says may contain peanuts on it. Oh, Jimmy Beast. Mm-hmm. Mr. Beach, you gotta get on that. You can't make it in a facility that may handle peanuts. You gotta get them out of there. I know. Maybe that's what I'll do for my brand. Maybe I'll make things that won't kill me. Cause I've been I've been working out a lot recently mm. and I can't find it's so hard to find good protein bars that don't have peanuts in them. Yeah. It's very difficult and it's very frustrating. So, yeah, uh, I guess that's a good chance to talk about what you're up to because you got you got big muscles now, big daddy doing flex. They call you. Show us. That's what they call me. Pop, pop them off for the people who get to watch. Ah! Oh yeah! All you audio listeners are missing out on that oh, fucking flexion. Man. Yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm doing a Creator Clash too. It's coming up way sooner, way sooner than. I anticipated. I mean, yeah. obviously the date has not changed, but time is moving quickly. But now you're like you're like in the zone. Like now I'm in the zone, auto zone. Um, I would say show us your signature move, but you got to keep that under wraps. I d- <laughs> that's the funny thing actually is that like everyone who's a part of it is trying to sort of keep things under wraps mm-hmm. a little bit, which I do understand, and I'm and I'm also doing that. Like I'm not yeah. really showing any footage of me boxing or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But it is one of those things where it's like, we're all at the same like starter level. I don't think that there's really going to be a lot that any of us could show that would be like, ah, there's these weak points. It's like, we're all new at it for the most part. Yeah. The only outlier would be if one person is like gifted at it. Yeah. And so it's just like, I understand why we're not showing any footage of us boxing, but I don't think it would really make that much of a difference. Well, it's, it's probably more so, I mean, I don't box and you can probably debunk this if you want but i feel like it's more for your trainers that if they can see footage of your opponent they're able to spot Mm -hmm. weaknesses that you wouldn't yeah and then you train that and then maybe they fix that weakness by the end and you've trained so much on that and you just get it's probably better to just give you an overall experience and like focus on what your opponent does and doesn't do yeah so you're a well-rounded boxer it's a very interesting world the world of boxing Mm. i didn't think that i would like it as much as i do yeah it's cool it's, it's i really fun i mean i don't want to get hit in the face i i get headaches all the time and i suffer from migraines recently and i have back pain and everything i don't even think my doctor would clear me to be able to do mm-hmm. it even if i wanted to but the training of it is super cool and i think just because ireland has a huge history with boxing and like some of the best boxers in the world have come from ireland mm-hmm. as well and i think it's always just been so cool to like watch people train and even watching well, I haven't seen you train, but watching Aaron do it, and I'm like staring at the yeah. footwork being like, oh, that's so cool. I, I think I could do that. It's really fun. Like, even if you're not doing it for a fight, the training that's involved that goes into boxing is so intense. Like, I've yeah. never been more tired from a workout ever because it's so much of it is just endurance. Yeah. And so by the time you're done with the workout, you're just absolutely like obliterated. Mm-hmm. It's been really rewarding because I, so I did gymnastics for 10 years and then um, I've been doing YouTube now for 10 years. Um, and so I haven't, I haven't done anything new in a really long yeah. time. And so it was really nice starting boxing and being like, wow, I suck at this. <laughs> and like, I'm still not good at it. But I like being able to see the progression is really, really cool. And it's really gratifying to because I've been <clears throat> I've been filming every time I spar. And so I was looking at some of the first times that I was sparring the other day and I was like, wow, I have progressed. That's really cool. Yeah, I did. A, I did like 40 minutes of Beat Saber today. So I guess you could say we're the same. Uh, yeah, baby. Our arms are sore. Yeah. How was it? It was great. They actually have a fitness one now where it's like left, right crouch and i was like fuck off <laughs> let me just like um, <laughs> let me let me do bts let me imagine dragons for a second <laughs> but yeah i'm i'm really really excited about creator clash like everybody that's involved is it's so nice because i think stereotypically with boxing and especially influencer boxing yeah there's so much like stupid beef that's surrounded um by it and it's dumb and there's drama and like i remember last year for creator clash keemstar had made 
either a tweet or some sort of video where he's like, you need to have more drama surrounding Creator Clash. And it's like, <laughs> why? We are already punching each other in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> why does there need to be fake drama around it? You're beating each other up. Yeah, I guess that's just kind of the world of sports where, especially when you have like the face-offs, it's always more interesting if people hate each other and then you go up face to face and then somebody like kisses the other one and then they gets really mad. And yeah, and then they his kiss butt. back. <laughs> yeah. and and then they squeeze a little booty. Soft caress of the cheek like and, you know. part of me gets it because you're trying to drum up hype and you want to sell tickets and it's pay-per-view so you're all trying to get a bag out of it mm. but I think that completely misses the point of the charity event that is Creator Clash and that everyone just wanted to have fun with it yeah I think that is honestly a big difference in the entire like mentality and vibe of the event is that it's not so everybody can get paid. It's so we can raise money for a good cause. And honestly, everybody's really like passionate about like putting on a good show too. Yeah. Because we all want all of the fights are really even. And like Ian and Anissa did such a good job of pairing up all of the fighters because mm -hmm. everybody is like pretty equal. So I'm I'm excited for this year to be a lot more intense tense than last year like not not to call out our boy matt watson oh matt I don't, there's not gonna be any dad versus matt watson fights this year where yeah. somebody just gets destroyed in 20 i seconds. mean even to a lesser extent it was like aaron versus harley was so mismatched as well like mm -hmm. on screen you can't really tell that difference but Anybody who knows anything about boxing knows how much of a weight difference that was and how crazy that is. Yeah, there was like a six inch height difference and then I think a 70 pound weight difference. That's crazy. So it's just like getting even a soft hit with that amount of weight difference is like being hit by a truck. Yeah. Like it's unreal. So yeah, good luck at that. Good luck getting hit in the head so hard that it'll detach your retinas and you'll never be mm -hmm. able to remember the podcast name. Which is actually kind of and on brand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's going to be good. Yeah. I have a lot of faith in you, and I think it's going to be great. Thank you. You're commentating. Well, no, you're not commentating. You're yeah. A lot of people seem to think post show. Everyone was when the announcement came out. They're like Charlie, Mark, and Jack, like commentating. That's going to be lit. And like, we're not doing that. It's Charlie. Yeah. Tony Jeffries. Is that his name? Mm -hmm. And the other guy, Wade something something. Clemens. That sounds like a football yeah. player. Um, they're they're doing that, but we're just doing like pre-show, post-show. So Mark and I are doing like mm -hmm. comedy. We're vamping for the audience, basically. Yeah, you guys will be the the comic relief at the beginning and the end and bits in the middle. Yeah. So um, I was like... Keeping everybody entertained. I don't want to fight anybody, but I would love to still be part of it. And then they were like, Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah. It's going to be very fun. It'll be very close by the time this episode is out. So everyone should God. get I Heart Ethan shirts. <laughs> I thought you were going to say tattoos. Oh, <laughs> like, eh, no. Sure. sure, why not? Get it branded on you. Mm -hmm. Get an I Heart Ethan brand and stick it right in your ass. Yeah, why not? And then take pictures of it and send it to us. If you're in Florida, come on out to Tampa, baby. <laughs> It'll be great. It's all for charity. Wouldn't be the first time YouTubers got ass pics from their fans. Damn, dude. Crassy. Crassy. Yeah, what's that What's that trajectory that YouTubers are always on? It's like you do one thing or the other. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like you either go on and you start making music or you become a pedophile or something. <laughs> yeah, God. I guess so. Uh, we gotta make music. I'm here we to gotta announce <laughs> my album. <laughs> make music. <laughs> make music, please. Oh man. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm really excited for Creator Clash, though. It's gonna be really fun, and I'm. <laughs> I'm excited for it also to be over, so you can ejaculate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The not coming thing is. Oh man. <laughs> no, but like the training is obviously super hard. But, uh, like, other than that, it's just a really big lifestyle change. Yeah. This week was the first week in a while because I've been sick where it was like, oh, wow, it's weird not going to train every day. And, like, you have to watch what you eat. Mm. And my gym is 45 minutes away. <clears throat> and so it's just, like, most of my day is surrounded around training and stuff. So it will be nice to have my life back a little bit. Yeah. I don't so. envy that. 
I mm-hmm. I remember trying to work out rigorously for a while and I always last like three months and then I'm like, I want a fucking burger. <laughs> I want a burger and some chocolate milk, I want please. some lasagna. Oh, I made lasagna last night. Shit was fire. <laughs> I thought you were like, shit was fine. Shit it was, was all right. fucked. <laughs> I'm very excited to start this journey with you, Shawnee boy. It's going to be great. Should we... Since it's like the first episode and we don't have anyone to canvas for anything, (laughs) should we like tweet out that we want to give people advice on something? What should we do? Ask Ethan and I anything you want and we'll give you terrible advice on it. Tweet. Tweet. Look, if it doesn't work, you can just delete the tweet and no one has a paper trail. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to give you advice on something? What do you need advice on right now? Hmm. I think give you advice on age. But that's too serious. This segment is going to be all jokes, by the way. There's not a single time we're going to answer anything seriously. And I don't think we should. Because then we're liable. (laughs) It's purely from a legal standpoint. (laughs) Yeah, we're just using you guys as a vehicle for comedy. Mm. And to involve you in the show. Because I feel like a lot of times people don't involve their audience in their podcast too much. And I feel like that's such a missed opportunity. Yeah, because I, I want people to be involved it makes it more fun i don't know yeah. it makes more of a makes more of a community around it yeah and it's something uh, to like look forward to every time and be like oh is my name gonna get mm. picked <laughs> no sandra i'm not coming to your fucking baby shower <laughs> do you want me to ask you a serious question i can i joke about it anyway <laughs> yes you're not gonna ask me like what should i do about my career <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask sort of a similar thing oh, no. of, like, of like, I feel so disconnected from my audience. How do I have a healthy relationship with them without crawling back into the, I'm trying to please everybody all the time and oh. have a fake mask of everything's great. Ah! I think what you got to do is find one joke and just hammer the shit out of it. Mm. Just over and over and over again. Like, what is up? My cranky crew is great. We can do better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not that well, that was well, a joke. Well, no, it is. <laughs> joke. What's What's yours? Ding dong. The video is ready. <laughs> <laughs> my joke is I <laughs> hate myself all the time. And I have no confidence in what I'm doing anymore. Watch me fall apart in real time. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is a joke. <laughs> yeah, I say that at the end of it every single time. <laughs> this is a funny haha joke. Okay, have you gotten any uh, any questions? How do you get bitches? Oh, damn. You put peanut butter on your genitals. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, I'm like, ah! Ah! Oh, no! If, okay. Why did right. I listen to those podcast <laughs> boys? <laughs> those two silly boys. That was another name for a podcast that we were going to come up with. If if you have like peanut butter on you, like on your skin, obviously that's bad and will die you. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Do you start swelling in the region where the peanut butter is first? Or is it like system-wide, oh God, it's all bad? Uh, it's... I'm trying to figure out a way of saying, will your dick swell up before anything else? It it would be that, yeah. Because I was thinking, like, I haven't had that happen before, but that is how they test for allergies. They do the, Mm. like, prick test. And so, yeah, it would normally swell up or you'd get hives or whatever in that area first. Hey, so yes, those extra three inches, though. I know. I'll take what I can get, baby. <laughs> Put them to you work know? for 20 minutes before you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people just use Viagra or whatever, but I'm not most people. Yeah, you so. don't have to worry about it staying up for four hours yeah. if you're dead in 20 minutes. <laughs> 20. How, how long would it take? Let's say, uh-oh, a chew. I've spit my peanut butter all over your cock. How long do you have? As long as I can hold my breath, I guess. <laughs> Once my throat closes up, <laughs> how long can I survive oh. without air? Is that the thing that does it? I thought like your heart would give out or something. No, your your throat. So everything starts swelling up um, and then your throat just slowly closes. And then so you, you just <laughs> stop breathing and then you die. What if you had a tube in your neck? Like straight to your air. <laughs> straight to your air. I'm trying to keep you alive, bro. <laughs> um, I, I care I about guess, you, bro. I don't know. Anybody who's a doctor, 
uh, is more qualified to answer this. I guess theoretically that might work. See, people are they say you guys got to be as funny as we are with this advice segment. How do I cope with my dad abandoning me? There we go. Mm. I wouldn't know because my dad's dead. Ethan? <laughs> oh, man. My dad has been uh, swell, you know? So you're shit out of luck there, champ. I'd say get a better dad. Um, or, or get you know, over it already. <laughs> yeah, just get over it. You know, I think I think that what you can do is sort of a reverse adoption. Because parents <laughs> always go out there and they adopt children, you know? Ah. Some do it because maybe they can't have children. Some do it just because they feel like adopting. But others, and I think most of the time, do it because they had one kid already and they were yeah. like, Ugh, that one turned out bad. Let's yeah. choose a child now. <laughs> and so I think that you can do that sort of <clears throat> with... A father figure. So so you want like a parent orphanage that you can go to and pick them out. Like a parent's <laughs> hound. It's called AA. <laughs> 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 and you just choose the most well-adjusted. It's, yeah, it's called <laughs> grievance counseling <laughs> for losing a child. Yes, because they're searching and so are you. Yeah. This is what this podcast is about. Anyone out there want to be Caitlin's dad? Submit. Mm -hmm. Just submit. <laughs> Just submit. Man, Caitlin, hope you appreciated that advice. And also hope you appreciated that you're the first one to receive advice. You don't even know it yet. Just don't look to us for parentage. We are not your dads. We're your daddies. <laughs> okay, since it's the first episode, you can pick one out from your community as well. All right, this is from Ashlyn. Ashlyn Slocum. Cool. Shout out um, Slocum. <laughs> my niece is going to be born in a couple of days. What should I wear to make a good first impression? Um, Ooh. Hmm. See, this is tricky. Well, you're trying to make an impression for the baby, but the baby won't remember anything. So I think you can have some real fun with this. Like, if you want to be terrifying, you could go dressed as, like, a clown and, like, start the trauma early. I think that's a good idea. Or you can like, you can like test something out as no one has before, where you dress up as something so specifically unique. And then when they're 10 years old, you dress up as it again and see if they're like, if they have the memory. Yeah. If they're like, oh my God, I didn't uh -huh. know. It's like when you have a smell that you didn't, it's like, what? oh my God, that's my childhood. What's that smell? I think that you could start your comedy career early. And you mm. go and meet your niece, and I know that this isn't something that you're wearing, but you go and do your tight five to your newborn niece, and yeah. then, ten years later, when your comedy career is starting to blossom, you bring out that tight five again, and then you yeah. already have a fan that's been waiting. Yeah. It's been, you know, what is it called? The Manchurian Candidate, but it's a tight five. <laughs> <laughs> You've winter-soldiered them. <laughs> That's what you do. You go in and you don't like make a good first impression with how you're dressed. You're thinking way too small. That's a fucking rookie move, Slocum. You mm -hmm. gotta go in and bombard all five senses. Mm. You need to, like, it's a newborn baby. It's new to the world. Its nose is developing. Its eyes are barely even open. They're all cross-eyed and shit. Their <laughs> ears are listening to like, for ages, they've just been listening to like sloshing sounds for nine months. Mm -hmm. Or Everything's been muffled. Sounds like it's in the room next over. Yeah. And they probably heard you already just being like... <laughs> <laughs> but you go in there. What are the five senses, Ethan? There is taste. Yes. There is smell. I don't know how we get there... to taste with the baby. Yeah, this... <laughs> hmm. We'll figure taste, it out. Taste, smell, sight, sound, and feel. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you! Woo! Shout out, brain! <laughs> we got it still. So you gotta go in, you gotta like do your. <laughs> I love how you were like kind of actually proud of me for getting all, <laughs> all five senses correct. <laughs> well, like, last whoa, time I saw, last time I saw you attempted was Unis Honest, that didn't go well. <laughs> Which in that clip, I realized that you said like ears and like sound or like you said sound <laughs> yeah. already and then mark is like it's like he already said that what idiot e ears 
And that's why you said ears, because you were just confused. I know. But for this baby, I feel like I need to know this baby's name. It's like, what do you call a child these days? Hank? <laughs> uh, I feel like I feel like we're going to start going into like dog names for kids, you know? Yeah. How, how like Sparky. People, yeah, that would be cool. Like Ooh. Axel. Yeah, no, Axel's. Cool. Axel's still too much of like a, a name name. You need to have like uh, Rolf. <laughs> That's the Rolf. sound a dog makes. Rolf. <laughs> How many people are out there that have named their dog Ray, but it's spelled Ralph like Ray Fines? Oh, my dog name. What would that be? Do you think you'd have a stereotypical Irish name? Uh, my, I, I'm called Sean and my mother was calling me Jack for most of my life, so... The fuck do they know? I, I feel like you'd have like an energetic, like little terrier sort of name. You'd be like a little cute one. Like, uh, but what do you call like Rex? Those, you know? Rex. That's a good one. Yeah. That's well, no, you're, you're like a sparky kind of guy. Uh huh. I think yeah. a sparky, you're like a, a, like a spot. Or yeah. Like a, yeah. Something like that. Something yeah. Like my, that. Mine's more like brown ass or something. <laughs> brown ass. <laughs> Come here, brown ass. <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> you run over, but you're like hitting chairs and <laughs> yeah. I'm the dog that like doesn't go around anything and like jump through the window. Mm -hmm. Boom! <laughs> oh man! So yeah, just uh, turn into a dog or something. I don't know. Yeah, you just like go in, like lick the baby's head, like check for the soft spot. It hit the soft spot early, so it builds up an immunity. Give them a helmet. <laughs> There you go. I should have worn a helmet when I was a child. I know. <laughs> I rolled off my dad's chest and hit my head on the floor when I was like two weeks old. That explains so much. Mm -hmm. You were doing algebra and quantum mechanics and mm -hmm. then bonk. Ha Holy shit, dad. I thought a bonk is <laughs> my Oh noggin. my God. <laughs> you really fucked up, dad. <laughs> this shit oh, is no, crazy. Oh no, I can't penis anymore now. <laughs> Oh man, I wonder if that was what did me in. It hit my peanut spot. <laughs> Fuck. That's what the soft spot is. It's the Shit. peanut zone. It's the peanut zone. That's, That's what you should do to the baby. Bring every allergen you can think of. That is what they start doing now, apparently. Oh. Is they introduce all the allergens way earlier. You're supposed they to do. introduce different foods at different times. They do so like a slip and slide of allergens as you come mm -hmm. out. There's just like a it's like a water park. Do so you fly past all of them like mustard bananas? That would be such a fun video idea if I wouldn't die. It's like a Oh it's like the a, allergen the, slide? Yeah, the allergen gauntlet. <laughs> we could do an oh. allergy test together. That would be really cool. Because I don't know that what I'm allergic to. I keep thinking I'm allergic to cats and like dust. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I am and then sometimes I'm not. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. Here's the thing with that though. Would you rather live in blissful ignorance? No. I want to know. No. Would you want to know? I want to know. It's. I mean, what if I'm like deathly allergic to something? Like, oh, if you eat a cicada, you're going to die. And I'm like, mm -hmm. fuck. That was next week's podcast video. So I don't <laughs> think they'll test for that. <laughs> they should. <laughs> They don't they don't just have a blanket test for everything and it comes back and it's like giraffes. <laughs> oh, there's spots. If you look at them, you'll die. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. yeah, that would be that would be fun. That would be cool. We should also uh do like a pain tolerance test mm -hmm. to see who can get the most paddle slaps on the ass. Oh god, have you seen have you seen those TikToks from the dude that dresses up like a mime and he like hits his shins with a scooter oh, and stuff? Oh, yeah. And then he's like, horrible. And he, he's not supposed to make a noise. And people were doing that a bit with harmonicas. They would put a harmonica mm -hmm. in their mouth and then do a painful thing. <laughs> we can do that. Uh, that is good stuff. We that can make a brain stuff. leak TikTok account and do all mm -hmm. of the stuff that's been done before. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did we talk about that the show is called Brain Leak? Yeah, you're just like reaffirming the point of why it's called yeah. Brain Leak. <laughs> Brain Leak, baby. We also wanted to figure out something with ADHD. We couldn't really think of anything. A dumb hoedown was one I came up with, but that's not. Mm -hmm. It's very specific. I think it's clever. All dogs heaven do. <laughs> <laughs> After dinner, hairy dicks. <laughs> well, hey, for next episode... 
all of you, why don't you give us some podcast name suggestions? We're not going to pick them, but we'll laugh at them. And yeah. Pick our best ones out of a hat. And maybe, I mean, maybe there will be one where we go, oh, fuck. Change the logo from a good. brain to a stingray. Fuck. The stingrays. Oh. This could have been, the podcast could have been called, this <laughs> It's what killed Steve Irwin podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the only podcast to listen to before you die. Mm -hmm. Oh, like two-way traffic. That's a good name for a podcast. <laughs> That's a two great way. name for a duo podcast. Two-way two traffic. Two-way traffic. <laughs> Dual carriageway. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. What else? Uh, Sidecar. <laughs> Twin peaks. flames. <laughs> Twin flames. Twin Twin. Double two. Jeopardy. Oh, what's it called? Omnidirectional. <gasps> no? That's not bad. <laughs> Hypercardioid. Hypercardioid. <laughs> 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 well, I think that has been a very productive first episode of the pod. I'm excited. This is the first the first episode. Yeah. You know, we're we gotta we gotta, you know, get the kinks out, gotta gotta oil it up, you know. We'll, we'll figure out our kinks. So yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Oh, we should do that for an episode. We should go through a list of things and <laughs> like what is see this? what makes you horny. Do yeah, a thing what where makes you're like you, kick? you have to sit down and watch so many different types of porn and mm -hmm. it's like whatever puts more blood flow in your cock. That was an idea. <laughs> For an honest video, you use like an eye or uh, thermal cam on <laughs> someone's dick, and then you can see the, the blood flow, so they can't lie. Oh, oh! We should do a lie detector test. We should. There's a lot of ideas. You guys can give us some ideas as well. All mm -hmm. of it is on the table. It's not even part of the actual podcast episodes. It's all for like extracurricular stuff, mm -hmm. and then we can talk. Oh, we'll about have those to make things. a subreddit. Yep. We have to make everything. So go spread the word about the podcast. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, follow, do all the things. We'll give you more information as the time is coming out. The descriptions will all have it. So spread it everywhere. Number one on trending, baby. Yeah, come on. Let's give it up. Let's get it above Jim Brogan's experiment, huh? Yeah. Come on, I can talk about TRT and gorillas anytime. Let's Anytime go. Anytime we want. That's the beautiful thing about this podcast. We're not nailed down to anything. So I heard about these monkeys that did MDMA and shrooms, mm -hmm. and the ones that mm -hmm. did shrooms actually spoke. And they and they and, and you know they they really did that. And then and, and uh, uh you know and and what I think is actually um kind of amazing about the the human exp <laughs> that's my Jordan Peterson. <laughs> It sounds like Kermit the Frog. Yeah, that's because that's what he is. He's just <laughs> philosophical Kermit the Frog. <sighs> well, we don't have a sign off yet. Stay nasty, bitches. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.